In this video, we are going to show you how to create a customized practice lesson, largely by using edit commands as well as some exporting. This is one of the very powerful things you can do with Song Surgeon Pro, and it is also one of the most useful things that you can do. So with that as a background, let's go ahead and get started. And the way we're going to start here is we're going to try to isolate an introductory solo in this song that I have loaded, which is Fast Cars and Freedom uh, by Rascal Flatts. It's not a tremendously fast solo or anything. It's just a song that I had here that I could conveniently get my hands on that we can use to illustrate this. So we're going to go ahead and start listening to it, and we're going to set a marker up here when we get to the point in time that we think the solo has ended so we know approximately where that is. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Okay, you can see that I've set a marker up here, and this is approximately where the vocals begin and the, the solo ends. So let's go ahead and select everything else. So I'm selecting everything else, and we're going to go ahead now and delete that. Okay, and now it's deleted, and you can see that I have the remaining piece on my screen. And the next thing that we're going to do is, as I recall in listening to this, the first part of this here really isn't any type of a solo um, with the guitar, and I'm trying to isolate that. So there, the guitar starts somewhere about here, it sounded like. Let's make certain we're um, not missing it. So that means that everything... Prior to this, we can also delete. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in, uh, let's say to five seconds here, and see if we can more closely figure out where this guitar solo starts. Okay, so seems like it starts certainly by the time we get here and it sounds like a little before so so let's just slide this marker over and see if we can't try to get a little closer to where it starts now we can still zoom in a little more but I don't see any obvious areas in in the waveform file that might indicate that this guitar is starting obviously for instance if it were here where we know this is a guitar um, that'd be real easy to, to set that, but it seems to be somewhere here. So let's just take a listen one more time. This is just before one second. Okay, and it seems like it's just slightly even beyond that. I'm going to say about there. And again, we're trying to do this by listening. Yeah, that's pretty darn close, it sounds like to me. Let's go back, and this area back here then is prior to where this guitar starts. Let's go ahead and highlight it. Now instead of, of uh, deleting it, I'm actually going to silence this section because I like a little space on the front side so I've got room to easily work with this file, and, and to have a second on the front end of it is going to be helpful for me to do that. So. I've silenced that front part. So now we've, we've got the front part done. Let's now go to the end of this area and try to figure out more precisely where we need to set this endpoint. And again, I'm going to zoom in, let's say, to five seconds. Let's even zoom in a little closer, maybe to two seconds. Um, here's the marker that I have. Let's take a listen and see if the vocals have already started. Yeah, they had started. They had started, so 
again, I'm going to grab this and slide it back. Let's slide it back to where we have the progress indicator, which is right here. Now let's listen. That's almost precisely where it begins. Let me zoom back out. So we're real close here as well. Let's grab this area here and let's go ahead and also silence it. Again, it's, it's always helpful to have some dead space on the front end and on the back end of what you're working with. So I'm going to silence, silence the highlighted area. There we go. And now let's zoom out and just take a look at it. So here on the front end I've got a second and on the back end it looks like I've got a couple of seconds. We don't need that much space. Let's take this last second here and let's delete it. So now I have a single piece of music which represents a guitar solo and what we're going to do is we are going to copy this entire thing. Here we go. Then I'm going to do a command C which is a shortcut so I've copied it. And now we're going to paste it which is a command V. Now let's zoom out. There's the second piece. Let's do that one more time. Command V. Zoom out again. There's the third piece. So what we have now are three identical pieces of music. The next thing then that we're going to do to even make this more useful is to set some loop points around this. And I'm going to right click and left, excuse me, left click and right click to do that. So there's a left click and there's a right click. So there's loop one, left click, right click, loop two, left click, right click, loop three. So what we now have are three looping areas on the screen, each with an identical, each with identical data. And what we're going to do then is we're going to move back to the first loop area here and we're going to slow this down to 50%. Then we're going to assume that, you know, we practice that and we get up to speed a little more and we're going to do the next one at 75%. And then for this last one, just let's assume that we're going to play it at 100% at the original tempo. So let's take a quick listen of all three of these and just make certain that they are indeed playing at the speeds that we've set them at. So here's 50%. Let's listen. Okay, let's jump to the next loop. This should be 75 Sounds like it is. Jump to the next loop. And that should be normal and it sounds like it is. So we now have three loop areas, each with identical data and each which is playing at a different speed. Now you could save this as a project file by going up here to save. You could recall all of these settings the next time you open this and you would have a customized lesson that you can play with in Song Surgeon and that's pretty useful. But for a lot of people they'd like to take this outside of Song Surgeon. They'd like to put it on their MP3 player or their iPod or burn it to a CD. And you can do that by exporting it and when you export it you will create an entirely new file that will play this first part at 50 percent, the second part at 75 percent, and this last part at 100 percent. Now, since we're creating an entirely new audio file, any type of markers or loop areas that you see on the screen here will not appear in an audio file because they are not set up to handle that type of external metadata. But nonetheless, the audio will be there and it will play at the rate that we've specified it to play at. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. We're going to export this data and then we're going to open it up and let you see that there are three chunks of data and let you hear that each of these pieces of data plays at the speed that we've set it at. We want to export the entire song. We're going to choose an MP3 as a format because it gives us good quality. We're going to call it three speed lesson. 
click Save. It's going to ask us for the bit rate. And for me, oh, 192 is more than adequate. Click OK, and now it's going to go through the process of exporting this file, and you can see it doing that down here. Uh, it's beginning to process this. Okay, it looks like it's about ready to finish up. It has, it's done. So let me go ahead now and click the Open button. Do we want to save changes? I'm going to put No. And we want 3-speed lesson, if I'm not mistaken. Click Open. And Song Surgeon opens this up on the screen. And what do you see? Well, your first impression may be, well, these are no longer three identical pieces, which is what we had on the previous screen. And you know what? You're correct. They are not. Let me explain why. That's because we slowed this first piece down to 50%. So whatever we had there is going to be doubled in terms of the, the wavelength. So this is a bigger file because, or a bigger piece of data, simply because we had to slow it down to 50%. So the time has been increased and it's been doubled. This next piece is also a little larger than previous because it was slowed down to 75%, so it's bigger. The only chunk that's going to remain the same is, of course, this last one because we didn't change the tempo, so it is uh, the original length. So that's why these look somewhat different, but they are correct. So let's go ahead now also and just take a quick listen. Here, this should be playing at 50%. Sounds like it is. Okay, now we're coming up on the 75%. Sounds like it is. And let's jump to this last one, which is 100%. And it sounds like that's playing at 100% as well. So in conclusion, what we've created is a three-speed practice lesson that you can move to an iPod or an MP3 player, put your earbuds on, now it's hands-free, and it will play each of these three segments or chunks of, of data at the prescribed speed. And it gives you a chance to sort of play along at a slower speed and then a quicker speed and then at the original speed. So this is one of the many different ways in which you can use the editing functions in Song Surgeon to create these types of customized practice lessons, which can be very powerful tools and very useful tools for you to help learn whatever you're trying to learn at a much faster rate. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. Thanks for listening. Bye.